that aren't great into the Maokai, well, you don't really have to worry about Maokai if you're Malphite. You just press your R yeah. button, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable, you go straight through that nature's grasp. It has been cleared to the blue side of top jungle, has been cleared, so they will get away with this. This is a really nice pressure here from Genji. These are small things, right? They're a little bit behind on gold right now, but it's relatively negligible in the grand scheme of things. They get this first objective so quickly that now they can contest for the top side objective as well. Yeah. Ocean Drake early, always going to help out. Also feels good. Lane. They don't know where Paze is. They know he doesn't have a teleport, obviously, but he is walking up to contest Grubs. Yeah. And Genji want to get everything. They want to get both sides of this. Yeah, I mean, they got that Drake, as you mentioned, with the Grubs. So important for their comp as Lucid in a bit of trouble. He's going to have to flash this wall, but into the wall he goes and all outed over the wall as well. The Ignite comes in, Lucid flashes for no reason, goes down, and Genji will get first blood, two Grubs, and now Paze is up in the top lane. Yeah. Pays is just going to push Kingen out of this lane. There's no reason for Kingen to ult into Pays. They have to, to ult here the now. Ult. Should be able to force it. There's the ult, but now Lahans. He doesn't have flash, but he's trying to get in range. He's a level three Poppy, and he just soloed a level six Malphite. I mean, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you know, he'll have it for the next fight if they do fight. And if he holds on to his flash and says, well, I gave a kill to Poppy, that doesn't really matter. He'll satchel it in just a moment. Get the zoom. And now. Bam. 450 in his pockets. Down here with Demolish, they will be able to get a turret in exchange. And they're getting the dragon. Handle this. Yeah. Also, King in returning to the bottom lane. Picked up Merc Treads. I mean, this fight is everything for D+. They have no uh, control. So, Chovy. Wait. <laughs> he accidentally hit the wall. He pops out right in front of Showmaker. Now he's in a really awkward spot. Hayes is going to flash that ult. That is huge that he avoids that knock. And now Kingen so far ahead of his team, and nobody can join him as the MF ult hits pretty much nothing except Keen. Down will go the top laner. Aiming, though, is going to get that kill onto Lahans, but it's only Lahans. In goes Canyon. That's, he's alone as well. And now DK are turning this fight around. Canyon super low. They want to get that kill onto him as the Phosphorus Bomb barely going to miss. And Chovy does deny the missile, but that's a one team fight for DK and maybe a dragon. Yeah, I mean, Aiming did so much in that fight, and it was pretty split for Gen G. Sure, Paze gets the flash, doesn't get hit by the, the Malphite ultimate. Malphite's fairly tanky. Lands is caught, punished there, trying to set up the ultimate. With double ups and with her passive, you hit multiple targets, you actually do a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely do. Uh, that that fight was very close. So. DK getting to work on the bot tier one. So they're going to have all tier one turrets taken down early on. The five grubs really helping out with that and their composition. We've Flicker Blade online. Ziggs sitting on the Seraphs right now, which I know might make a few people unhappy, but does also tech in the Oblivion yeah. Orb. I, I think it makes sense into this comp. There's just so much wombo combo. If you get caught by that, you want that extra shield. But uh, King is just going to ult away. And now this Maokai ultimate getting huge value. Moham trying to crash down away from the team. But here comes Chovy and the rest of them. Gen G on the chase. And with the Kasante leading the charge, they don't really have a way to get away. Canyon going to lock down a kill. Lucid super low as he's going to get assassinated by Kasante as well. And so it is a two for one. Canyon will go down. He did go slightly too far forward. Towards nothing for King in. And if they see the Malphite just running straight at them, they know how to deal with that. So, yeah, DK just not really going to be able to uh, get in on this dragon. So, that first one, uh, the first Mountain Drake, will go over towards Gen G. Look at Canyon's positioning. Yep, he's got a very nice angle on this one. He is going to throw in the ult. They try to get on top of Toby, who is not quite able to buffer that one. The sleeve coming down, and Mohan's totally going to miss on the left side, though. Down, though, will go Toby. It is a trade that DK will enjoy. And now they're just looking for Canyon, who is also just kind of on the run, doesn't have a way to get out of this one. Is able to slow up a couple of guys, actually, with saplings, and is incredibly fast. So he's yeah. just going to run away from them. He's phase, ru phase rush Maokai, so we'll be able to get out of there pretty quickly. Yeah, definitely could have been a lot. go get deep vision into the jungle. Then their comp can be both strong in setting up combos, but also oppressive. And that's why they've committed so heavily to this mid turret, because theirs is down. And now uh -oh. TP coming through. And there's a flank, and they're just kind of being squashed, aiming in a very awkward spot as nice ult from Mohan just to uh, collapse this fight. But now this Ixalt comes in on top of Amy. He's just on the run. Kingen also has to ult away. Meanwhile, Mohan's just dead once again on the left side, trying to just peel for the team. And he does that. Coming also... through from Keen. And they are starting up this Baron. Lucid has flash. But, I mean, this is looking pretty desperate. Remember, Kingen doesn't have flash, doesn't have ult. 
they just don't have any setup. No, no Malphite ults, no Flash, oh, Rel. no Rel is the biggest one, and it's just free for the side of Gen G. Like, yeah, maybe Lucid could have tried to flip it, but that's really risky. And so it's yeah, just Gen G. Through was definitely strong. You add Baron on top of that, and these turrets are just not long for this world. Yeah, I feel like uh, a big theme in what we've been saying throughout this game has been a lot about control, and it felt like a couple of fights where Gen G were kind of a little bit wishy-washy. DK found some angles, but the second that they kind of clamped down, got a little bit cleaner, DK just feels like they don't really have Maybe an get that mid turret. There is a Baron buff on the side of Gen G. That make things pretty difficult. Yeah, they're just trying to clear this wave and try to contest the dragon, but I mean, Chovy's playing Tristana, so he could solo that. He doesn't care. We will have some teammates come over now, but even if they needed to come defend the turret, he would just be able to sit over here, take this one down. Doesn't have teleport, but there's just nothing that DPS could do. Feels like Gen G, they really wanted to get the turret. They're not going to get it then, but they're going to get it now. So, yeah, you stepped up, you cleared the wave, you stopped it for well with the Verdant Barrier, for the Ziggs, the Crypt Bloom to help out in team fights. Here comes Chovy jumping into the enemy team. Um, just to beat, I guess. Here comes a bunch of damage as Showmaker loses half his health from one ability from the Ziggs. And then Lehens just sends King into the Nether. He's not able to turn this fight. He's back now. They're just going to back off and look for the Baron and force a fight on their... And DK, it looks like they don't really have pressure to go for a Baron, so they, they got to try to fight for this Dragon. Chovy will respect it, will back away, but now team fight kind of brewing around the mid lane. Kingen getting a bit low. Keen trying to front line. Here comes the Nature's Grasp, and now Kingen just so far away to three-man knockup, and now the Rel comes over the top, takes down one, and Keen is in the back line, but he might go down, but not before taking down aiming, and that is the main character on the side of DK. Showmaker still existing, but can he do enough damage alone? The answer is no, as Pays and Toby, the two carries, charge through and finish off the team fight. I feel like if the goal was a little bit closer. Huge bullet time over the top of the Magnet Storm. And it just doesn't matter because he gets bombed to death. Yep. And then gets jumped on, all outed. Like, you know, he had He's his gonna moment. He's going to be the DK redemption arc in this game one. Instead, well, Genji got everything. Now we have a hugely deep TP, very far away from the team fight. He's going to have to run for about 17 minutes. Let's see if he can catch one of these carries. Well, he is going to find Chovy, who does try to buffer it and does fail. But guess what? Valkai pressed R, and nobody can join. King is alone, and he is now dead. And the Ziggs bomb over the top gets a ton of damage down. And Keen also is just unkillable with this Mountain Soul. Looks like Gen G. They play it carefully until they don't have to. And now they're looking to end the game. That is going to be it. Some nice attempts from D+. That ain't AP Malphite. Toby just shrugs it off. Doesn't care. I got caught, but you don't have a team. Yeah. You don't have a Nexus. And they can barely build a lot of MR if you go too hard into that magic profile. So maybe just GP or or Nar here. Or Garen. Garen! <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, then just maybe they could do something. But if, if Keen just Valkyries it, then I mean, he doesn't care. Also, Kingen is just not really a champ, but he does have Ghost. There's the Valkyrie. Keen will flash straight into the rune, and the Olaf's on top of him, and Keen is just so dead. There's no way to get away from that one. Now, if the flash were better, he probably would have gotten away, but instead he just dies, and Lucid sets up first blood here for King. Oh! oh! Wow, that was sick! And now, instead, Moham is able to flash in front of it, and he will have to give his life for the kill. That hook was definitely going to hit aiming, who also flashed away, and so it doesn't, you know, it was all very cool and flashy in the bottom lane, but it's still just a kill for Genji. Yeah, just a kill goes over. It's picked up by Lehens. Chovy has done away with the macro. Hard to engage here as D plus though. You really need to get value out of this Olaf in this fight. And once again, Amy waiting. is not here. So it's just a 5v4 in favor of Gen G. They try to go in on Olaf. That's not a good choice for Canyon. He might just die. He's dead. Down he goes. Now Keen trying to Valkyrie away. Remember, he doesn't have Flash. He's going to go down. Double kill here for King in. As now trying to frontline with the Garen, but out comes Daisy and Gen G. Gonna have to abandon ship, but there's another route that comes in. A triple kill for King and Zolov. And Aiming's just farming bot the whole time. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge. When everybody could just follow oh, up on that, the Ivor. Okay, okay, it is massive. You have a melee about composition all, all. with the Nasus and the Olaf. Let's look at uh, this glacial. No flash here for the Corky. Slowed. Uh, taken down. 
Well, that's it. But then, yeah. but then? But then? <laughs> and look, look at them all just all me. He's like, whoop! Okay, okay. <laughs> that's that's ice, baby. a completely different game than game one. Yep. And, uh... <laughs> You know, Garen doesn't care about Wither either, so he's just kind of running at him. Now, Kingen, I don't think he really cares, and Tenchi are just not respecting the Olaf at all, as now, finally, we're going to have a Satchel to deal with this. I mean, he's got Ghost. Got to respect this champ. Yeah. At least the ult doesn't last for too long early on, as now, oh, that knockback on a Lucid stops the hook from coming in, but it doesn't matter, as it's still going to be the kill. And now, Kingen, no Ghost, no Flash, no ult. He can't get away now, as this is going to be a huge shutdown. They're going to give over to someone. It should be Keen, as eventually, surely, okay, he does take him down. 600 gold and a free turret down in the bottom side. It's all fun and games when you're getting plates topside for aiming the Gold King until your bottom side is left out to dry. And as much as we said, oh, they should respect King in there, because it's true, he has Ghost, he has ult. If he uses those tools, then he's diveable, and now the satchel's gonna come through, and that is gonna be first brick for Jin. I think it was a bit of a surprise that Keen was down there, right? But obviously they knew he wasn't topside because they were pushing the turret there. Can we dive a Garen? That's a good question. I don't think so. <laughs> well, we're gonna figure it out here at the LCK. The answer is absolutely not. Not even close. Maybe with Lucid. I, I think with Lucid, follow up here, probably you get him. Maybe. Well, that's going to be an axe to come in. There's the root as well. Jovi in a bit of trouble. And the knockout comes in from Daisy. And finally, they do take him down. But now counter dive up on the top side. Can we dive Nasus? The next question. This one much easier, although a lot of damage did go into Canyon. It is going to be a kill going over to Pace. Okay, so ends up being a two for one here. King and taken out. Against the Ziggs. Never a good idea. Diving a Garen in general, not the best idea. They make it work, but it doesn't feel like they're trading up in any way. That's another turret that goes over to Gen G. And five grubs. Quickly as they do. I have on Like, we're showing Chobi's first person view here. And he makes that call and knows the pings on the top side on the minimap instantly. So they go through and make the play. King and dies here. Oh. oh. Yeah. I didn't even realize he died. Yeah. Okay. He goes down off camera. First but damage. Luden's companion here. No tier required. And yeah. Showmaker, once again, is in trouble. Oh, where have we seen this combo before? Well, press R, drop a hook, pays not even needed, drops a bomb just in case. Yeah, and uh, you know, I don't think he cares too much about missing that ultimate right now, because it's not going to affect his constant push towards his mid turret. Only 10 seconds left on the plates, so won't be picking up any more of those, but so much gold already in the pockets of Genji here. And I mean, for Sh <laughs> Showmaker in that moment, like he can't flash the Maokai ult. He's going to get hit by it no matter what. So he just kind of has to sit there and die. And there is no cross map. Lahens in a little bit of a rough spot here. Probably going to go down. DK, nice catch onto Lahens, who did have flash, but did not elect to utilize it. As and you mentioned it, speak of the devil, it is just right on, in front of our screens, showcasing the lead he has over aiming right now. And BT is so valuable, obviously, into this comp, but Hens is playing a game here with Moab. And yeah. Moab loses. I mean, they're going to hook up Poppy. Generally, not a good idea. The knockup comes in, but Genji are on the escape. The ult comes out from the Olaf, and down will go the Hens. It's now Redemption as well. Genji, they play with fire. And DK, they say bring it. And they're going to get another double kill here for the side of King, and who now has eight kills. Yeah. I mean, look, Moam was the loser of the mini game of trying to avoid the hook, but I feel like he was the winner in the end because looking at the poppy means a big front line, 40 plus, and now they're going in. Yeah, another root here on a canyon who is very tanky. Down will go the Ivern and Chovy. Can they kill him is the question. Poppy, Moham is in the Riptail, goes in, and will just die. He just trade himself for the Garen. I guess that's worth, but now aiming, very awkward spot, has to trade flashes with Pays who threatened the, uh, well, Satchel engage. Yeah, he use everything for it, and now he's not here for this fight. I feel like they got a little bit of that BNK in them. Yeah. In that moment, you know? They're like, we're all gonna go super deep. Lose this game, that will change. But at the moment, leading the damage charts at over 10,000, nearly 11,000 there. Gein, I don't has some teammates nearby? Yeah. But I think this turret just goes down. They're gonna try to hold to save it. All right, well, that's the root, and that's the hook underneath the turret, and max range doesn't matter. You get rooted, you get hooked. 
And Moham trying to disengage with his own ult is not He can run through Canyon's ultimate. He can block for his teammates. Instead, aiming up for success. And obviously, the follow-up to Lucid's roots. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Oh, not again. Moham. Moham, he's got flash. He's actually trying to set up a play. Redemption on top. There's a bullet time. And, well, Moham does go down in the end. Daisy will not get her revenge. In fact, uh, this is gold given over to Keen at the end of the day. And Lahens, I mean, if you Awarded. give him the... They know, but they need to show up. He's has TP, but he's a Ziggs. They might be in trouble here, Valdez. TP coming through as well from Showmaker. Yeah, definitely trying to force this one. Gen G, they want to do something about it. Canyon doesn't have his ult. The knock up here on a Moab. Not a lot of damage. Oh, comes in on two aiming. And Garen is in the back line. Down will go aiming. And the damage is just way too much. Gen G, they get the punish. And it looked a little bit iffy, but now the Baba over the top as well. Ziggs will not be defeated. And now the two of them trying to get away. They do huddle up against the wall. Like they're in the cold they're winter. One of your biggest turn tools and the best target to hook. And Lehens takes him out. It's 10 out of 13 KP this game. Yeah, I, I think especially his positioning. Like he was in five players. Threads the needle, as you mentioned. Uh, yeah. get, I just think he didn't expect it. Really classic Lehens. And the kills are close, but the map control is not. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh no. <laughs> Again! Oh, Showmaker. He gets rooted at the very end of the Maokai ultimate, and it's just set up on a T for Lahens once again, who presses the Q, and they have the damage from ahead. And this is what this composition does. And right now, Lahens, for this game, career is 8-1 and one on the Blitzcrank, and it's looking like he's going to turn it into a 9-1, 90%. With uh, the setup he's been given by Canyon. Some quick math there, Wolf. Yeah. Nicely he's, done. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you can do math on stream. <laughs> when it's, when it's you know, base Kingen? number 10. Here comes Kingen. Uh, you know, the issue is, yeah, the Olaf is huge, and he himself, it, we, we saw Showmaker pull out the Nasus uh, against BNK. It got a win, and maybe they're saying, okay, maybe we can utilize this again, but not into this team, not in the Chobi. King instead. Um, trying to go head to head against Jovi's Garen down two levels. King in bursts into laughter because there's not really much else you can do at this point. The game two is, it's, I mean, it's done. DK, they, they don't have an angle. Yeah, Showmaker hands off the keyboard here. Look at him just stand and watch. Jovi's just like, all right, well, I'm just going to keep pushing. My team has full control of mid. That inhibitor's down. He's got Mortal Reminder as well. Nobody's healing. In this game, nobody's healing, nobody's doing damage. Everybody is, however, getting hooked, as aiming will avoid this one. Yeah. But, uh, I think playing, you know, MF in the last game could have been very nice. In this game, <laughs> just doesn't feel nice at all. No, Chovy's just gonna solo this and hit bottom, while the rest of his team systematically destroys the top. The inhibitor will survive, on the gate. yeah. All right. Oh, this is the angle. All right. They they have the flank, and now they're just going to try to engage on the aiming, who is kind of frontlining here. But, oh, boy, here comes Garen. And the Siege Bomb over the top, and aiming just doesn't get to play the game. And Lahens, he's going to taunt Olaf away from the team fight. So that's going to win it there. As Gen G, it almost looks like they're playing solo queue at this point. It's so one-sided. Yeah, Chovy didn't even have to ult in that last uh, kill on the aiming. Not sure who he ulted ultimately here, but somebody died, I think, off camera while we were watching King and try to chase the hands. <laughs> oh, the game is over. It's 2-0 for Jen. Yeah. Can play pretty much anything, and it's going to be Skarner in the jungle. Very punishing into any champ that is trying to step Get forward. Gets XP. King gets some XP, but it's split. We'll TP here, but they're ready for uh -oh. it. Oh. Hide on Bush, except three-man version. And yeah, Kingen's not going to be happy with that one. Lahans, uh, look at his face, set that man. One up. Yeah, he's and he has to TP to die. And uh, by the way, they're still Guess here. Guess what? Yeah. Well, there's the flash stun on in. Kingen does have his flash, and he says, well, I'll use it, I guess. Uh, he is going to die anyway, and Pays also gets to kill Kingen. Again, is just left laughing.
Because what else can you do? Well, there is one top laner left in this game. Well, half, let's, I'll give Keen B and half a top laner. Half a top laner so, versus zero. I don't know what happened here, but Showmaker just, okay, baiting. Actually, just baiting. And now, Toby's just dead. <laughs> Down he goes. Lucy gonna get that kill in this wild early game. And, and he flashes least... towards it. <laughs> 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 uh, how do I How play? can I play? You can see a plane as day is much easier to dive in these situations. And here comes Skarner, and that down back is not going to do anything as Showmaker just gets pushed into the rel. Look at his face too, man. Yeah, Canyon and Lahens, man, they're just high-fiving this entire series. Yeah, and I mean, King and Showmaker are just linked on frustration. Face bombing here, together. Or, or, I mean, they're just running circles Getting around them. So most of these plates, obviously, because it's just a Garen here. But it's not like she is threatening right. to kill. Level here we six. go again. Lucid going to miss. The knockup and yep, level six as you mentioned. So now there's actually threat of a kill. And D plus will get this first dragon. So, and it's a chemtech. So on one hand, that feels nice because you don't have chemtech soul, but actually chemtech soul is pretty. Cool. Yeah, I think the only way he maybe gets away is just running a straight line towards the turret. I think he's dead either way. Not much he can do. Lucid uh, denied getting over the wall and said elects to alt the Garen. He doesn't have flash. He's well. He might be able to get out. No. Oh, okay. Well, Lucid's got his hands on his face. I mean, guys, this is <laughs> this is not Fantastic. very good. Yeah. Garen pick into being a flex, right? King can play it. And now Cannon has ult. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh, Kingan doesn't have his flash. So, uh, yeah, there's the Impale coming in, and the bomb sails over the head of Nasus, but it just doesn't matter, as now maybe a punish. Three members of DK down in the bottom lane. Pays flashing into the fight. I'm not sure that's going to work out for him, but the damage, where is it from the side of DK? There it is, finally, they take out Pays as, well, Cannon, <laughs> not gonna get over the wall, has to flash, and finally DK gets something. And they're yeah. utilizing it in yeah. their draft as well, which is just so fun to see. Bomb's dead. Well, maybe trying to get Canyon here, see how that works. He's going in, actually on the aiming, knows he's dead, can't get away. Uh, ulting the wave here is Pays, as Pays will go down, and DK, Gonna get another something. Yeah, we good punish there from D plus. Okay, so Lehens on a ward here. Moab goes in for a bit of an engage. I, I guess you could say, but it's more more so just a bait. Like he's Poppy, he's very tanky. I'm oh, sorry, he's Leona, excuse me, he's very tanky. Q as many as possible. As he has picked up the sheen now. Yeah. The buckler. He has a lot of ability he still. He's gonna be trying to stack in the side lane and uh, just try to catch up, as we've mentioned. Zeke's first here for the Skarner. A little bit of extra damage, I guess. As it's Hextech Soul once again. So Gen G also have been really high rolling on these Drakes. They didn't necessarily really need to, but now a combo. Okay, a lot of CC. Unfortunately, that's Skarner. So not really able to blow up the Skarner. Down goes the turret. Down goes the Leona. And Gen G get another win. And damage to kill the Skarner. Toby had TP. He's just gonna come up here and clear this up now. Lose it is here. They Toby. may be able to punish. Toby is in a lot of trouble here. And look at that burst that comes in. The Talia TPing in. So much needed gold for King and as well. Still massively behind in this game, but hey, you know, you'll take every win you can get, and that's Toby's TP down as well as Moam is here. Yeah, I think King and overstays. <laughs> Showmaker's backing. And King and's like, well, I'll stay. Maybe I can get another plate. And he might be able to, just barely not able to, get smoked down. And uh, that's the end of him. Meanwhile, the spinner on the bottom lane is all ice, so not able to actually pick up the kill. As Lucid's just trying to get something back. And there is empowered recall here. Toby gonna stop the back, actually. Valkyrie over the wall. I'm not sure if he knows about the Nasus behind him, but now he's about to find out. King in is going to do a decent amount of damage as the Qs will come in. The flash is there, but you're not getting away from Nasus, buddy. He is down. He will go. Kayan sends him a thumbs up. And it's another kill over to the side of the Nasus. And now he doesn't have Holy. TP. But surely getting themselves a few kills here. 700 gold. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of money. Lucid again caught, though. Yeah, going to be silenced up. And now he's got a Skarner on his back. Nice knockback here from Showmaker. Just desperately trying to help out his buddy. Yeah, he's got his Seraphs complete now. Once he gets the Andres, he's... Uh, but he does not. Dies. Commits Flash. 
As once again, they're using the Hextech Rift incredibly well. And Keen's the next target. This pick off is starting to come online, Valdez. Yeah, Keen is Garen trying to trade one back here, but not going to complete the spin into ult. And they do commit pretty heavily up to the top side of the map here. Satchel, passive, down goes the turret, and there's a Drake available. So yes, you got the kill, but will you be able to get much after that? Another charge comes in from the Rift Herald. Toby's just bought. And it feels like they could have just gotten the Drake, but instead now going for a little bit of a skirmish in mid. Chovy still not there, does have TP. Yeah, I mean, this is a uh, Boam. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble, does have the Eclipse up, but when you get Magnet Storm and Impaled, there's not much you can do. He's level six, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he gets taken down. So that should be the Drake going to Gen G. Yeah, it's only their the second list. up. But this pick on the Keen using the Hextech Rift, you like to see somebody, he's like, gonna look for another one in live. Yeah, but TP is coming in here from Jovi. A lot of damage in Akeen, but that is still Garen. Jovi not able to chunk through the Nasus, but guess who's here? It's Paze, and he's doing a ton of damage. Lucid also trying to join. He can get pretty low as Lucid extends the Encore and targets it right into the Garen. As a lot of wave clear is coming in, and Lucid sticking around. A big knockback comes in, though, and DK are winning a fight while Canyon is just taking the drink. It starts to feel like the kind of game that maybe Atlas would have bet his hair on, Valdez. <laughs> because they keep just... As that Seraph shield, Keen gets slowed, and we're not done in live. <laughs> just never done with the action. This time it's a 2v1. Nobody else is nearby, and Keen will just pick up the kill. So, and, and a lot cleaner. Your, your squishy members that are trying to, or that, you know, Pays and crew are trying to blow up. Chovy is trying to take out. As Here we go catch. again, another pick, but Canyon this time he's going to use it to his advantage, tries to pull Moham after the wall, that's another Satchel coming in and a big bomb to the face of Moham. And now Canyon once again through the wall, going to bring Showmaker straight into the rail as the Encore is good once again, but it's not quite as good as the team play from the side of Gen G. And now aiming on Seraphine, you know he did his job, but he's going to be able to get away and now with Baron available. And no ult for the Seraphine. Yeah. Baze is... It, okay, they're just looking to turn this one. He's on at the side. He's got the mines in the perfect spot. And the damage in the King and is huge. He's not quite that tanky just yet. It should be another couple of kills going the way of Gen G. Is Canyon going to throw a rock and take down Leona again? And they might just start it again. They are going to start it again. And there's just no way to contest. Lucid has Flash. But there's no way he can get in here. The Hens will absolutely say no. Oh, they're going to back Wow, they really do decide to back off. Because of the Hextech gates, Lucid can get actually behind Lehens here and circumvent that realm. They're like, that's just not a chance I'm willing to take. I'm not willing to give Baron over. If they get that 50-50 steal, then Lucid sneaks around there. Could be a disaster for us. Lucid going to look for any stragglers. <laughs> Might be able to get Toby here. Yes, Flash ult. Uh, there is Lehens in the brush, who is going to hop away. But now, in goes Lucid, the satchel. <laughs> is not enough to save Lahenza's life. This has just been a fantastic Decide game not to take the Baron. As they're grouped for it, once again, Lahenza no vision. Yeah, and there it is. This time, Lahenza opening himself up to get picked, just kind of running into the brush. Meanwhile, we got a 1v1 on the bottom side. We're going to see who wins this one. Looks like Nass is by the end of it. Keen going to get withered up as well, and he has nowhere to go. It's a shutdown for Kingen. All right. You get a kill. On a rogue Lehens, you get a kill in the 1v1. The Garrett not having the big lead that Chovy had last time against Showmaker. And Kingen, he is truly starting to become a big threat inside. So he's looking for that turret. As so once again, we reset positioning. Last cone to get over the wall. And a reset on the dragon as well. Trying to punish Kingen's flank here, but he just keeps walking back. Mohan, oh, though, Mohan. isolated. It's so, it's so difficult for him to play. I mean, he has to get a flash engage in. Otherwise, the Ziggs just rips him apart. Now Lucid has to flash away. The wall goes over, and Showmaker's just dead! Just like that, but a massive encore, a re-engage from the side of DK, but the Impale catches two, and it should get enough room here for the side of Gen G, and it will 100%. They get a second Hextech Drake, and a triple kill for the... not going to offer enough damage alone. Not at this stage of the game. And maybe not at any stage of the game, as this is also going to be Genji taking Baron in live. Soul point. By himself, and with a, a team behind him. So there's the satchel. Down will go that inner. Baron 
And it's hard to pick when there's no overextension. The Baron Buff is losing. It's going deep. Yeah, he has to try something, but the Zhonyas is there, and he had the Satchel set up. He knew the engage was coming, and now the Flash and Pale in this game, in this series, is just over. Gen G are not pulling any punches. Showmaker desperate to try to take down Chovy, King and the last remaining member, but they have a wave in top, and Gen G will showcase why they are by far the best team in the LCK at the moment. A few hiccups, a few great punishes from D+. But the lane swapping Ziggs does them in. And it's 25 kills to 16, a very, very bloody game. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.